What camera settings do you use for photos of the Milky Way? Well, as you know, with all exposures, there's three different factors. The aperture, the shutter speed, and the ISO. And using my camera here, the 14mm f2.8 and a full frame camera, I'll show you how I set up my photos. So this is an f2.8 lens. That means at the widest aperture, I'm gonna have an f2.8, and that is what I set my exposure to. Now, that might be a very shallow depth of field ordinarily, but we're focusing at infinity and we're gonna have the stars off way in the distance, so we don't really need to think about the depth of field. What we do need to consider is how much light comes into the lens. And at f2.8, I'm gonna have as much light as possible as I can get into the camera. You really need a wide aperture. So go for the widest aperture lens that you have while still looking for a very wide angle lens. So that's f2.8 for the aperture. Then we talk about the shutter speed. So you might think that for a photo of the Milky Way in basically pitch black darkness, you would want to have a really, really long shutter speed, and you do, but there's a certain cutoff point to this. And the reason for that is if you have a really long exposure, you'll start to see the stars in the sky start to move. And then that crystal clear, sharp photo of the Milky Way that you are capturing is no longer crystal clear. It's moving and it's just not sharp. So you want to avoid motion blur. And there's a very simple equation for this. You take the number 500, it's called the 500 rule, and you divide that by your focal length. So in this case, it's a 14. So I take 500, I divide it by 14, and that gives me about 35 seconds of exposure. That's how long I can take a photo before the stars start to appear as if they're moving in the sky. So I'm gonna set my camera to a 30 second exposure. That way I know I'm gonna get nice crystal clear photos of the stars. And then finally, the ISO. The ISO is gonna to have to be quite high for Milky Way photography. As I've mentioned already, it's pitch black. You hardly see anything when you're taking photo of, photos of the Milky Way. So with that in mind, you need to set a very high ISO. I would set my ISO on this camera to 3200. That is 32 times as sensitive as ISO 100, my base ISO. But yes, it will have a little bit of noise in the photos, but it means that I get a good exposure and nothing is too dark. I can start to see the details in the stars and I can do a little bit of recovery later on in Lightroom or perhaps Photoshop if that's what you prefer. So let's go through that again. F2.8, 30 seconds, and then an ISO of 3200. That works perfectly. I use that basically every time I take photos of the Milky Way on this camera. That works perfectly on this camera, but if you're using a different camera, perhaps a crop sensor, well, some of the rules change. So maybe if you're shooting at 18 millimeters, you can only shoot for 20 seconds before the uh, Milky Way starts to move. And if you're shooting at 20 seconds, then you need a higher, uh, higher ISO, and the ISO might go up to 6400. So there's a compromise going on there. Because of the gear that you're using, you might have to compromise, but that's okay, that's photography. We're always compromising with our gear and our exposure settings. We can never just shoot maximum depth of field for the shortest possible shutter speed and the best image quality, the lowest ISO at all times. It doesn't work out like that. We're always compromising. So it's just something you need to consider. If you're using more basic beginner gear, you're gonna have a higher ISO and probably a shorter shutter speed too. But for this, this camera, f2.8, 30 seconds, and an ISO of 3200. Thanks very much for watching. That's just one of the seven keys to mesmerizing Milky Way photography. If you'd like to see the other six, go ahead and click on the link below this video and you'll be taken through to a page where you can watch the whole video. It's everything you'd want to know to get started right away with Milky Way photography. Thanks very much for watching and I'll see you in the whole video.